Welcome to Fantastic Mosses and how to draw them. To me, mosses are fascinating, and it's them that make the woodland or buildings that look so ancient, as if they have lost in time. And there's such a large variety of them that they never fail to amaze you. Trust me, like this one that looks like a tree, or this one that looks like feather, this one that looks like stars, or this has pockets. In my opinion, the best way to remember them is to draw them. By drawing them, you take time to observe them in details. Today, we'll start with something easy to draw: the hot tongue thai moss, Plagionium undulatum. First, hydrate the moss. Mosses can stay alive when dehydrated for quite a while and come back to life once hydrated. Isn't that amazing? Start drawing with the main stem down to the rhizomes. They are basically the roots of mosses. Then the stem of the arch branch, and then start drawing the leaves. Personally, I like drawing from below to the tip. Observe carefully and draw what you see. If the leaves of the moss starts to curl up, it means that it's getting dehydrated. Gently dip the moss into water and dry off the excess. The hard tan thai moss looks relatively similar to another moss, the common smooth cap, or known as the Catherine's moss. The major difference is that the hard tan thai moss is often branched above, and the branches are often arching, while the common smooth cap usually have an upright stem and no branching. Does this help? Please comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos of drawing mosses. See you next time.